Hey guys, welcome back to Planazoid. Today I wanted to do a flip through of January. Um, I started using the micro planner again on I think the 6th of January. So it's going to start from the 6th all the way to the 31st, which is tomorrow. And then January will be over. So I just felt like doing a flip through maybe to provide some inspiration or something. And I don't know, I wanted to show, you know, my cute little layouts in my little planner. So, uh, yeah, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and taking a look. And if you're not new to my channel, thank you so much for coming back. And thank you so much for staying tuned. And thank you so much for following my social media. And by the way, if you don't follow my social media, definitely check it out on Instagram at Planetoy. So let's get started. So right here is the divider that starts like my year. So all the months. So I just have a cute, you know, bow, a couple of magnets. Um, this dashboard is a classic size Happy Planner dashboard that I cut to fit for my micro. So at the start of every month, I always do a mood tracker. Um, this is a habit tracker from Happy Planner. It comes with three slots where you can put whatever habits you're trying to, you know, work on or whatever. And I just happened to cut it up and make it fit in my micro. So each month is going to be one of these mood trackers that I use for the beginning of the month. Um, I don't have a key for it because I already, you know, know the colors. It's my system. But I think it's a good way, you know, to keep track of how you've been feeling for the whole month and your mood and everything. If you keep track of that kind of stuff. So uh, right here is just a dashboard that. I made from the mini happy planner I cut it to fit my micro because I wanted to have a tab of all the months so for January I just put like a little note section right here and I write whatever notes I need to write and then on this side this will be like an important you know remember like important dates so on this side I just put quick notes on this side I put you know important dates and then right here is my monthly overview. Um, for now, I just draw them out until I can figure out how I want to print them. But for now, I just draw them out. And this is how it look. I use like a color code system. And then when I get to the page where the actual date is on, that's when I do like an expansion of like that plan. So for example, like light blue right here means that I work so I'll just you know color it blue right here and then when I get to the page you'll see work from this time to this time so that's just how I do it because this planner is so small so you gotta work with what you got and then on the back is just the key so you know you got work gym payday canceled so if something was canceled I'll just probably mark a black line through it or something appointments emergencies the yellow says vacation slash like off work and then you know when I upload a video so as you can see all the colors and then right here like you can see it's pink but then I cross through it black you probably can't see it but that's one example so then after that that's when I have my dashboard for the month um, I created these by just adding a bunch of stickers to it and on the back of it it's just I decorated it with washi tape so just to make it look cute and to show you know this is the month that it is and so this starts my um flip through so I started back using this planner on the 6th of January I came from a big size happy planner so definitely you know a transition back down and typically um, my layout is my to do's for the day and then I had to find a new spot to write my daily gratitude so for now on this page I just did you know to do so some stickers and then I wrote my gratitude at the bottom so then for the seventh and the eighth is when I started back getting into the swing of things because I haven't used the micro in so long so I had to definitely get back into fitting all my days, you know, back together and all my to-dos. 
So for the seventh on that Thursday, I did the same thing like I did on the sixth. I just, you know, added a little to-do section and then my gratitude at the bottom. And then I have these stickers from Shine Sticker Studio that just has like the day and the date. So I was using those. But then I decided to go back to my old method when I was using a micro and I would write the day and the date right here in the corner. As you can see, it says F8. That means it's Friday and it's the 8th. So I went back to that. Um, I think I'm going to just have to write what sticker books I used in the description box because I honestly can't remember off the top of my head. I use a lot of different sticker books when I'm planning and I mix a lot of things up. So I'm just going to link them in my description. Well, not link them. I'm just going to write what type of sticker books I use. So that's how that look. Um, this is one of my favorite layouts because of the colors and how pretty it was. So, um, if you're new to my channel, definitely just scroll down a little bit and check out my older videos, you'll see that I used to use a micro planner and then I sized up and now I size back down. So typically micro planner is what I like to use and that's what I want my channel to be for. I want to provide inspiration for the tiny planner. So I definitely wanted to get back to that. So definitely check out, you know, some of my old videos, just, you know, see what my content and what my channel is about. Um, right here, it's the same thing as I did yesterday because I like this theme so much. I was like, I'll go ahead and do it for the weekend too. So it's just cute flowers and I just, you know, use some color today stickers and then my daily gratitude is just on the same page. Now for the next week, I wanted to switch it up a bit. So that's pretty much what I did. Um... I found a spot to put my daily gratitude and then, you know, I just simply wrote out my to-dos. I wanted to try to add more, you know, nice stickers and quote stickers. So that's what I was like doing. Now for these two days, I decided to use um, Distressed Ink. So the background is yellow and the background is lavender. I just used Distressed Ink and a little pad to color the pages. And I just felt like color coding it a little bit. So once again, here's my to-dos right here. And then my daily gratitude right here. I just added some cute stickers just to make it look cute. You can only do so much in a micro. But at the same time, you can really do so much in a micro. Like, it's crazy. Um, So right here... Uh, it's like a mess on this page because <laughs> I was trying to fit everything. So like here's my little to-do section and then my gratitude section is right here. I mean, it worked for me that day. So I definitely, you know, like using it. But you're going to see later in this video that I made some changes to my little system. So I just decided to do like cute rainbow colors for the weekend because I love the weekend. And that's when I'm normally off work so I decided to do bright colors and then here's the end of the week I still stuck with you know the bright colors just put my to do here my gratitude here and then when you get to this page this is when I started to change up my system and um, because of the way I was changing it this was a blank page so I just decided to put a cute quote sticker and just a couple of other stickers there. So when you turn the page, I decided to do it this way. I decided to have gratitude on the left side and the to-dos on the right side. And then that way I have more room to decorate how I want to and more room to write my daily gratitude if I want to. If I don't have a lot of to-dos and stuff for the day, it'll just be, you know, like this, a lot of space. But I still like that it looks more organized and I had more room. Plus, I also started using... Um, I think it's from the Planner Essentials sticker book with Happy Planner. I started using these um, large numbers as like the day. And I still write the day right here and I just put the date, you know, with the large numbers. They go in different spots. So my daily gratitude is over here and then my to-dos and stuff will be like over here. 
So on the 19th was my mom's birthday. I had a picture of my mom right here, but you know, I was doing a video, so I moved her picture out the way. So that was her birthday, just recently passed. Happy birthday, mom. And like I said, stickers everywhere, daily gratitude to do, simple as that. Um, everyone has a different system. I didn't come up with this system right away. It took me a while, but I decided to try this way instead because I really have to have a place to have my daily gratitude. I like writing it each day and it helps me get through the day. So I had to definitely make a big switch from the big happy planner back to the micro planner. So that's how this page looked nice and colorful. Um, over here, I feel like switching it up a little bit. I wanted to add a cute little brain dump section. So that's what I did for Thursday. I just added a small little brain dump section just to write a short journal. And then over here is my to do's. And then over here is just, you know, my gratitude. Um, this white pen that I use is the Jelly Roll brand. And I just got it in white. And they have different like thicknesses you can write with. I recommend the 10 because you can see it the best. So just in case you ask about, well, what's the white pen? That's what it is. Some days when I plan, I have no idea what I want to do with like sections like this. So I just use it like as a cute background because these papers come blank and they come just white. And then, of course, they got this little, you know, peach color trimming right there. But I try to decorate the pages as much as I can so it's not too bare or just, you know, white. I like colors. So that's where this came from. Here's today. I think this is my favorite layout so far because I love the Miss Maker Accessories sticker book. Like, I got that book on clearance and unfortunately it was missing stickers. So they gave me even more of a discount. So I said, okay, I'll get it. But I love that book and I don't know if it's because it got all the cute craft stuff in it or what, but I love that book. And even right here, I cut out a Miss Maker sticker. Let me pull it out. I cut out a Miss... Oh, the light, sorry. I cut out a Miss Maker um, sticker and I laminated it. So I just kind of keep it as a die cut. But it's um, the Miss Maker Accessories book. And um, they have a whole bunch of like crafty quotes and sticker books and carts. Like, it's really cute. It's my favorite book and... I wish I could find it again, but I can't, so maybe they discontinued it, but for sure I know that's where all of these stickers are from. And then here's the last day. Uh, for the last day, I decided to just keep it simple. I'm going into the next month, so I decided to just put a lot of nice quotes to take with me into the next month. And then on this side, I um, put a small section just to write a little bit of gratitude. And right here, um, this is from the Wellness Sticker Book, I believe. Oh, no. It's from All the Feels Sticker Book. All these stickers from, from All the Feels Sticker Book from Happy Planner. It'll be in the description box. But uh, this is self-care focused, so I just um, check whichever one I want to do. And then I just write, you know, what I'm doing to do it. So, for example, 
self-care focus, I might check mental. And then what is the plan for, you know, that mental self-care? It could be going to therapy. It could be listening to music or meditation, something like that. So I try to use those stickers. That's actually one of my other favorite sticker books. Um, but that's it. Um, that's, let me make sure. Yeah, that's it. On the back of it, I just put a cute heart being held. And then this will start, you know, February. So, yeah. But this is the thickness of all the planning pages. From, you know, the beginning with the dashboards to the end. This is the thickness. So, my planner is definitely chunky. And when I finish January, I'll be taking these days out so I can start February. Because if I try to keep the whole year... It's not going to fit. So keep that in mind. If you do do this kind of like layout, um, it will make your planner chunky. It does take up more pages, but it's easier for me and it looks cleaner. So I choose to do it that way. And, you know, just to recap, you know, just to show inspiration, like, for example, with this page, um, daily gratitude over here to do's over here and then all around it just be different kind of stickers whatever theme I want to go for um and then over here I just have you know a mood tracker for each month a nice little divider you know tab showing what month it is and then my monthly overview and then another dashboard that I created for the month. So, you know, I got quite a bit going on, but that's just how I like to do it. Like I said, it makes your planner chunky, but it's really nice. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to provide some inspiration, especially for the people that use tiny planners like this. Um, you can use a micro as a full functional planner. Don't let anybody ever tell you that, oh, that's too small. How are you using that? You can definitely use it. It can be full and functional. I fit all my to-dos. I have a budget section. I have a journaling section. Uh, I have a little fun section where I just like to doodle and do whatever. I have a whole section that's just nothing but um, dashboards and die cuts with cute quotes. Like, it makes your planner really chunky, but it's, you know, functional, and that's just what I like. Like, it's, this is my planner. is chunky. Very chunky. Like, and I'm pushing it as tight as I can. So, that's just how it looked. But, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, definitely stay tuned for more videos. I hope I can make them as consistent as I want to. But I just started a new job. So, honestly, I have been so tired this week. So, I'm like, while I'm off work, let me make a video. But, anyways, guys, make sure you check out my social media. Um, Instagram, at Planazoid. And, you know, stay tuned for the next video.